aim crash near Wanganui in which nine people were killed. Three children and six adults died in the accident, including four members of one family from the Manawatu town of Foxton. Their twin-engined Piper Seneca was nearing the end of a charter flight from Hamilton last night when it crashed just 34 miles short of its destination. The crash site in the Ahuahu Valley near the Wanganui River is in rugged bush country and the wrecked plane was not discovered until 8.30 this morning. As police recovered the bodies, an inspector of air accidents began trying to find the cause of the tragedy. Since first light today, searchers continued their efforts to find what they expected to be the wreckage of Noel Oxum's Piper Seneca and any clues as to what had happened. One pilot who flew the same route just before the crash says weather conditions at the time were not good. It was quite a rough night last night, strong southwesterlies, probably up to 30, 40 knots. Um, when I got back, quite a bit of cloud about. I actually broke out a cloud about 3,000 feet just to the north of Wanganui here. While searchers feared the worst, finding the plane was a major problem because of the terrain in the area. In Wellington, the National Search and Rescue Centre coordinated much, the yeah. operation, trying to mobilise as many aircraft as they could safely concentrate over the bush. Besides the Air Force, local pilots were called in. Uh, well, we were called out first light this morning from Rom Rather Heath, uh, given a specific area to search, uh, four helicopters in the area. Um, we worked a basic grid pattern over the area. And after about an hour and a half, we uh, were lucky enough to spot it. And by lucky, I mean lucky. You know, it was very hard to see, very little left. And uh, we just uh, that I happened to be able to see it under the canopy from the angle I was at. And, uh, I spotted it. If I'd been right over top of it, wouldn't have seen it. The plane is thought to have exploded on impact, and little remains of what was once this charter aircraft. What is puzzling investigators is that the pilot last reported his altitude at 4,000 feet. He was then three kilometres from the crash site, which is at 1,200 feet. The plane also appears to have been travelling away from Wanganui, its intended destination, when it hit the ridge. This afternoon, the Air Force flew in the Inspector of Air Accidents, who will have to piece together exactly... The weather and the inaccessibility of the crash site. Nine people were killed when the Piper Seneca went down. A lawyer representing the aircraft owners, Fox Pioneer Charter Limited, flew into the crash site today to make his own assessment of the tragedy. It's still very blustery around Wanganui, and that's been hampering the operation. Wanganui Airport's about as close as anyone not connected to the crash can get today. Air accident inspectors and the police have closed the airspace over the site as the remains of the nine dead are being removed. More than 20 rescue staff have been needed on the steep, bushy ridge north of Wanganui. Police say since the crash site was found early yesterday, they've had to cut a base camp out of the bush nearby to receive the casualties' bodies. They say the Air Force will start ferrying the remains to Palmerston North tomorrow, and police will complete their clean-up of the site. They're, they're working uh, pretty, uh, pretty solidly on it from the look of things, but it's very tough terrain. And uh, I don't envy them at all. Have you got any idea at all what went wrong? No, and I, I'm not prepared to speculate on uh, that at all at this time. Um, uh, clearly, it was, uh, uh, it's a very confused picture at the present time as far as the company is concerned. Acting Chief Air Accident Inspector Milton Wiley met with his team late this afternoon. They've been